Now, do you still or have you ever enjoyed reading? A Melbourne girls' school has gone to new measures. I love this story. Attempting to encourage their students to discover the joy of reading. Strathcona Girls Grammar have installed a story dispenser. It prints out short stories on a receipt. Now, Penny Roberts is the library director at Strathcona Girls Grammar and joins me. Penny, welcome to the program. Oh, thank you, Dennis. Lovely to have you on the show. Um, being a librarian, I hope, you'd, I hope you're not like the one that we used to have at our school. If you were talking slightly in the library, she used to drop a heavy book on your head. Oh, no, we don't do that anymore. We encourage them to enjoy being in here. That would have gone out with my era. That's fine. I'm, I just wanted to clear <laughs> that up at the beginning. Penny, this is a really good idea. Where did it come from? Well, the short story dispensers were invented in France and they were put in railway stations and places like that where people might want to, well, they were delayed for five minutes or so, and they might want something quickly to read. So it dispenses stories that are one minute, three minutes or five minutes long to read. But it's, they're also reading off a piece of paper, which is really good these days. It's great. It's actually like a docket receipt that you get from a cash register. It prints off something like that, the length of story you want, and so you can just sit down and read it. So it's such a wonderful idea. And Independent Schools Victoria bought one of them over to Australia, and um, Strathcona is the first school that has actually been able to borrow it. So it's been a, it's been a great fun thing for all the students. Is it free? Um, yes, it is free. Um, It basically sits in the library and the students go up and they say what length of story they want. They press the button and the story comes out and they can just sit and read it. Who writes the stories? Well, the stories are supplied and they were loaded in by the um, company and we got stories that were designed for the age levels of our junior school students particularly. And then part of what Anne Fendley, who's our year form year four classroom teacher did was she got students at years three four five and six to write stories and one student from each year level had their story chosen and that has now been added to our story dispenser and so students at schools that use the story dispenser will also be able to add their stories and i guess once once you've taken a story from the dispenser and you've read it and you've got into it for your five minutes or one minute or three minutes whatever it is it's in your mind it's got you thinking it's and it's also got you uh, not on a screen i think that's the great thing about it it's they get a little story and there's this idea that reading is just something that if even you've just got a few minutes you can just quickly read something and you can enjoy it it can make you think can make you laugh and you can actually just reading become something that is immediate and interesting are the kids giving good feedback that it's actually perhaps getting them interested more in reading oh look they really really enjoy it we do have a really good reading culture here at strathcona um already but they have really enjoyed the fact that particularly once they knew that they could put their own stories in it made them think about writing and being published authors for material that other people's going to read, other people are going to read as well. So I think that's been a great part of the fun of it for them. Have there been any negatives? Has anyone been critical of of putting this this concept into action? There were some concerns about the sorts of stories that would be loaded in, but as the stories have been designed for our audience. Um, Really, that has allayed most people's um, concerns. But, you know, well, you, they press a button and we don't know what they're going to get. But they are. this one has been set up by ISV for the year levels that are going to use it. So it has actually been really great. On the train the other day, I took about three to five minutes to just simply look out the window. And this sounds really stupid. But these days, you just don't sort of look out the window and watch what's passing by. You're always involved on a screen. I think that's true, and it's really nice. One of the nice things about the story dispenser is its social reading. They're all crowded around it. They're all pressing the buttons for their stories. They're talking about them. They're wondering what they could write. So it's actually turned reading because the stories are short into a bit of a social activity as well. Wouldn't it be lovely in a decade from now for you to find out that someone, one of these kids, one of the students, has gone on to, to become a writer because they were encouraged and motivated because of that, that story dispenser? 
Oh, that would be absolutely fantastic. And I think that's the sort of engagement we look at. We think about the fact that there are four students um, that Anne Fendley worked with in years three, four, five and six who are all now published and being distributed through the story dispenser. Isn't that great? Uh, Penny Roberts, can I just ask you one final question? Because I don't get to speak to librarians too often. Do you read from screen or do you still read from the book, the paper? Uh, Look, I do love reading um, a hard copy book and I think it's interesting most of our students do too because it's not a device that's going to bip or inter interrupt you with an email or a message. It's just total relaxation. But when I'm, sh I'm travelling, I can't carry as many books as I need so I do read on a screen. Now. Yeah, there's a weight issue, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, there certainly is. Uh, Penny, great to chat with you. How long have you been a, a librarian? Um, look, I've been a librarian for over 10 years now. Enjoying it? I love it, actually. It's a, it's a great way to um, work with young people and to keep them interested in books. Excellent news. Penny Roberts, thank you. Thank you very much. Library Director at Strathcona Girls Grammar. What do you think of that concept? It does sound good to me. Penny Roberts uh, is the Library Director, as mentioned, Strathcona Girls Grammar. When did you start reading, or have you picked up reading perhaps as an adult? Uh, is it something you didn't do a lot of as a child? Was there a book that turned you towards uh, enjoying the love of reading? 96900 693 131332 and screen or paper, what do you prefer to read? 96900 693.